This is your Thursday night forecast. I'm meteorologist Cameron Leatherman. We do have a chance for severe weather this evening, mainly impacting some of our southwestern communities. You are at a level two out of five. That's indicated by all of our counties here that are highlighted in that yellow color. A level one out of five for those of us that are shaded in this green color right here. Now, when it comes to our severe weather threats this evening, mainly anticipating some strong wind gusts up to about 60 miles an hour possible across the area. There is a chance we could see some large hail, but I'm I am more focused on seeing those stronger wind gusts more than I am seeing those larger hailstones. But we'll go ahead and track out this weather system as it continues to approach the area this evening. By 6 o'clock this evening, we'll still see temperatures in the upper 60s. As that cold front begins to push into the area, temperatures continue to cool down. At 11 o'clock tonight, that weather system begins to make its way into the area, bringing us a few scattered showers initially, that chance for a thunderstorm arriving after midnight. Here you can see where those heavier pockets of precipitation are falling across the area. Temperatures in the upper 50s around that time. The storm threat continues to make its way out of the area by about 4 o'clock in the morning. We're left with a few additional scattered showers, some of which may be on the heavier side. But temperatures will continue to fall into the mid 40s and Friday morning as our skies continue to clear out. We're going to anticipate a cooler day with high temperatures in the mid 50s for your high on Friday. But we'll go ahead and take a look at the rest of our 10 day forecast here as well. 52 for your high on Saturday, mid 50s on Sunday, 62 on Monday. A chance of rain exists exists on both Tuesday and Wednesday next week, 58 on Thursday, a chance of rain Friday, Saturday and into Sunday as well.